Hey coach, thanks so much for watching this week's video. Wanted to show you something I'm really excited about, it's brand new. Go to Flag Football with Coach D. Make sure you subscribe so you get 10% off everything anytime but down here we just released our brand new wristbands so now I've got a plug-and-play bundle which includes all of my playbooks all of my practices all of my drills over 80 age-based plays I mean it's just awesome this is the most popular thing that that I offer and now we have wristbands, Coach D wristbands plug and play system so you can take plays, take it to the field, walk out there with confidence and watch your players just execute at the highest level. All right, let's jump into this week's video. Hi everyone, this is Coach D and Coach Sammy. Today we're talking about motion. Now we're gonna run through eight plays and show you exactly what to do on your motion plays. Now, why do we want to have motion? To confuse the defense, especially if it's zone. Of course. We want to have movement going on so that that defender over here thinks that they're set up correctly. They move over here. They don't know. And it also tells us whether they are zone or man. Because mm -hmm. if that person runs across, now I know it's man. Yep. Now I'm going to look at their matchups, right? There's a lot of benefits here. So we're going to go through these eight plays. Now, one key thing is... There's a few ways to do your motions. Now, first way is to actually motion before the ball is snapped. So we're gonna go through a few of the plays that do that. That means that if I'm over here and I move to that side and I get placed before the ball is snapped. The second way is I'm in the middle of my motion, they call hike or they snap the ball and then I can fake. Right? So we'll go through a couple of those as well. Now, one thing I really like about Sammy, she's been a quarterback for years, is she has a certain cadence. Now, what is our cadence? It's basically the same thing for everyone. It is the same thing, so I know every single time it's ready, go. Now, when we do motion, you will see on our first play, A is gonna move from this side to that side of the field. Now, how do I know if I am A, should I be looking at you the whole time? Um, no, you want to be facing forward. I want to be facing forward. How do I know when to move? Um, either, depending on the quarterbacks, but it's for me, it's after ready uh -huh. or you motion your foot. Okay, so here's what she does. She says, ready, right? She does that, show me. Ready. Boom, right when she moves her foot like that, let's say I'm A and I'm over here. Right? I'm a wide receiver, I'm ready to go, but I'm going to be moving over to that blue cone over there. Go ahead. Ready. I know right when she says that, I'm ready to move right over here. And then go. she could say go, and I'm going. Now another thing that we notice with our plays here is you will see that A moves from this side to that side, but doesn't line up on the line of scrimmage. They're actually about a yard back. Why do we do that? Um, I don't know. Yeah, so usually what we want to do is we want to put that defense on their heels. They don't know what's happening. So now on number nine, you see here that C is on the line of scrimmage, but then now A is at a different level. So I've got C right here on the line of scrimmage, right? And now I've got A back here. Well, they're like... Well, what? now I've got different levels. So these are different levels that now that cornerback or that defender has no idea, am I gonna come back here this way? Am I gonna scoot out that way? So you always wanna have different levels, right? With your motion, and that's what we're gonna go over. So let's start with number nine. You can see there is a motion. A is going to go across, and because it is uh, it doesn't have an AF, which is a fake. That means that that motion is going to occur before the ball is snapped. Let's show you. Sammy's gonna be the quarterback. I am A. Ready. Go. I'm ready to go. Boom. Now we've tightened this up a little bit. Obviously things are gonna be spread out, but that is as simple as that. 
right? If you see that the defender follows, that's man to man. If they have zone, now they've got, this zone is packed, right? Mm -hmm. On number nine, now you have a bunch going on here and now you have B, right? That can easily be wide open alone on that left side. All right, now let's do the next one. Very, very similar. Same exact thing on 10. A good principle when you're doing plays is to have progressions. So you have the same look. So A is over here doing the same exact thing. Go ahead. Ready. Go. Boom. Same exact thing, but now, right now, the center is doing a nice little uh, out pattern. Boom, they get the ball just like that. So you're setting it up the same way. Now, let's do the next one, 11, and now I'm gonna be C. So again, now they see a different player has come over here, and now we have a little bit different formation here, but I'm still gonna do the same type of thing. Ready, go. Okay, and you can see that C on number 11 is back behind, but now instead of having another wide receiver here, now I've got somebody on the outside, right? So now I have different layers. I've got this person who's C, and then I have A on that outside. So you're switching it up just enough, right? And then that motion just gives an additional layer of what is happening right now. Now, you can see these are back to back to back. It's the same thing. Now let's move to 13. Now there's something different about 13. Do you see what that is? What does the AF mean? Uh, there's a fake to A. So what is the difference between what we've been doing and when there's a fake? Uh, what we've been doing is they get set on the line mm -hmm. or where they're supposed to be. What we're going to be doing is uh, they're going to be in motion and we're going to fake it to them while they're still running. Oh my goodness, yes, that is exactly right. So A is going to fake, but they're going to go from that side over to this side and I'm going to run when should when would you tell A to actually start moving? Um, on motion. Okay, so basically what you're going to be doing is the same cadence, mm -hmm. but you're just going to call go right when they start moving so that you have the ball in your hand and you can fake it as they're running across. So she's doing the same ready. The only difference is for the quarterback that they're not waiting. Ready. Right? For the first couple that we saw, get in, get in their position, go. On this one, it's ready, go. Because they're now coming across, fake, boom, right? So that mixes it up just enough. So let's do number 13. I'll be on this side. As you can see, we use our wristbands <laughs> like crazy because you can see us looking at our plays regularly, right? And I have it right here. I mean, look, if you're thinking about a, a fourth grader, right? They're not going to remember all this, so they have to look at their stuff. So A is going to start on the outside. They're on the line of scrimmage for this motion. Then... Ready. Go. I start going, yep. Fake handoff here. Boom. So when it's when it's put out a little bit more, I'm gonna be back here. You don't even see me, but now let's go. Ready, go. See the difference there? So on that one, what was the difference? Uh, you were in motion, so still on the run. Still on the run, boom. That gives me the nice fake handoff. And if you're executing a fake handoff, execute that fake handoff. My elbow is up to the quarterback. She is putting it in my bread basket as if I'm getting it. I act like I have it, right? And all of a sudden that motion becomes, oh, they're running that way. C is now wide open going that way, okay? Then the next one, same exact thing. And let's do our last 15 and 16. And we'll talk about that. 15 and 16, now I'm gonna be C. I'm coming to this side. All right. All very similar looks. 
Again, at the very beginning of the play, everybody's lined up. The formation looks very similar, but now things are going to be a little bit different. Ready. Go. Now, that gives her just a split second longer. So if a rusher's coming in, maybe they're going after C now, right? So I wouldn't want to continue to give to A, A, A over and over. Right? I want to mix it up. Now C's going the other direction. And now the best part of everything that we just did is what happens with number 16. Number 16 is different. Let's do that one. Ready, go. <laughs> so now, come on up. She actually handed it off. So now they don't know. And now you could mix that up, put that in, do it. You know, hey, we're gonna do 15, 16. We're gonna do 13 through 16. And now things are going back and forth. And if you really wanted to, unlike number 14, you could be like, okay, we're gonna hand off this time because they're way back there. They're giving us, you know, 10 yards of, of a cushion. Let's go ahead and hand off, right? Motion just all of a sudden gives you all different types of opportunities. Mm -hmm. So we just found out motion. Why do we do motion? To distract the defenders. Distract the defenders. It also tells us whether they are man to man or zone. Man to man or zone. That allows us to make our adjustments, identify the weak side, the strong side, all that good stuff, everything. So we also found out that there's two different types of motion. One of them what were they? Do you remember? Uh, one, you go across and you wait for them to get set. The other one, it's in motion. Yep, and then you do a fake. And then with the fake, every once in a while, you can actually hand it off and they're gone. So motion opens up your playbook quite a bit. Look, this is Coach D and Coach Sammy. If you like what you see, come on, subscribe. What do we do? Comment, like. Stop laughing at me. Come on. <laughs> I know I'm so old school, but you know what to do. We're at 15,000 subscribers at this point. Let's get to 20 and beyond. It is all about helping coaches just like you in the backyard figure out how to do this thing. All right. So if you need playbooks, if you need plays, if you need the book boot camp, go over to flag football with coach D.com. We've got everything you need to crush it as a complete coach. We'll see you in the next video. Take care. All right, let's run 15, 16 one more time. Is it? Okay. It's okay. Ready? Go! That yeah, is all day long. 16, hurry it up. Ready? Go! See ya! See you guys later.